Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, here you can see some police on the left. Um, I guess I haven't stopped anybody. There is no car being written up or anything, or no driver getting a ticket, I should say. Okay, we're on the Edward Siaga Highway, or the North South Leg, or Highway 2000. Or, as the sign at the beginning of the highway says, Jamaica North South Highway. We're heading towards Miami Bay or Ocho Rios today. We're actually heading to the north coast. So this is the highway that will take you there and takes you from Kingston to Ocho Rios in 45 minutes. Or to be more precise, takes you from the Caymanos Toll Plaza to the Miami Bay exit in 45 minutes. Now this highway was built by Chinese China Harbor Engineering Company. Now, as a subscriber pointed out in the comments, and guys, thank you for all the comments, really appreciate it, and you give us a lot of feedback to use in these videos. This highway was originally started by a French company, and they ran into problems, I'm not sure what it was, and it was eventually finished by the Chinese. Now, after the, I read that, I did remember hearing something like that where I think the highway was built, but there was something wrong why they couldn't commission it to open it. Or maybe not the entire stretch to Miami Bay, but I knew a section was built and it couldn't be used because something went wrong. I don't remember the details, but I do remember after reading the comment hearing something like that. And I think the road was was closed it was never opened actually and what happened was there was some legal issue i guess to deal to to figure out who should pay for the corrections as i remember it being said in parliament that there was some legal issue and they were trying to figure out who was to pay for what to do the to to, to fix the road but i don't remember exactly what the issue was so if anybody remembers you can um, let us know in the comment section below but this highway connects you okay it has exits in Angels Plaza and I want to thank another subscriber for leaving a comment explaining why it's called in the toll booth the exit rather the toll plaza is called Angels and not Spanish Town because Spanish Town is the major town and Angels is like a minute drive away from Spanish Town. So why not just call it Exit Spanish Town? Now, the person explained that there is already a Spanish Town exit on the east-west leg of Highway 2000 or the PJ Patterson Highway. And that highway was built before this one. So you can't have both highways with a Spanish Town toll plaza basically. So that's why this one was called Angels. So again, thanks for the information. benefit of this highway other than the time it takes is that it bypasses Mount Russell and now with Mount Russell it's a hill and it's it's always it's a very narrow the roads are narrow but you go over a very steep hill so you find you had a lot of traffic on Mount Russell I mean everybody can remember nightmares on Mount Russell because the trucks break down or an accident or something but it's a very narrow hill and very hard to navigate especially when when cars and when the trucks are on it sometimes you can't overtake the trucks you just have to drive behind them and that would cause traffic delays or traffic nightmares and another if you were to take this highway you'd take a regular road 
you have to go over Mount Rasson and you also have to go over Flatbridge. Flatbridge is in the Bogwalt Gorge. And that again, when that gorge has an accident or the bridge is blocked, it's a nightmare. Traffic delays. So this highway was built to bypass those two sections. Yes, it was cuts the time down to travel, but it also bypassed those two major um, how would you say hazards on the road or potential hazards because I'm sure everybody has had some experience of Flatbridge being blocked or Mount Rosser being blocked and you'd be you would be delayed hopefully for not too long so that's why the, one of the main reasons why the highway was built okay we are now exiting at the Angels Toll Plaza where you can see the sign Angels and this is what we were saying earlier we were wondering why this plaza wasn't Toll Plaza wasn't named the Spanish Town Toll Plaza but the sub subscriber explained it to us so thanks again Oh, we are in a class 2 vehicle and the toll is um I'm not even sure what the toll is. I'm going to tell you soon though. Now the way this plaza this works is when you enter the highway you get a card. And whenever you exit you give them the card and then it tells you. So the car in front of us pay 200 Jamaican which is about a dollar 25 US. We are paying 400. Four hundred Jamaican is about two dollars fifty US, and this is just from Kingston to Angels. So, I mean, it does save time, but it's very expensive to use this road. This is the most expensive highway in Jamaica. Well, so far, but the. PJ Patterson Highway currently runs from Kingston to Clarendon and it's going to be extended to Mandeville but to drive from Kingston to Maypen or Clarendon now is about a thousand Jamaican in, class, in a class 2 vehicle so basically even if you double that to get to Mandeville you're looking at 2000 Jamaican which is about 25 US to use to drive up from Kingston to Ocherios, you're looking at 3,600 Jamaican, and that is about. Just give me the exact thing. I have a calculator right here. Okay, 3,600. You're looking at 25 US. So for the North South Highway. And the DJ Patterson Highway is fourteen dollars US, so that's that's pretty expensive, especially in the North South Highway. And that is um, one way to come back from Kingston. You're looking at another twenty-five US. So to go to Ocheria, spend the day, and come back into Kingston using the highway for both legs, you're looking at fifty US. To go to Mandeville, well. I shouldn't use a mandible. Okay, well, let's just assume that's the toll for mandible, but it, the, it hasn't been confirmed yet. But let's use Maypen because that road is finished and and we know the toll. So to drive from Kingston to Maypen on the highway, you're looking at about seven dollars US. So to go to my Maypen and come back on the highway is about 14 US which isn't that bad it's manageable but the Ocherius one is the the Edward Siaga highway is the ex most expensive highway to use in Jamaica alright guys thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe have a good day